faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. Oh, what a wonderful morning today. <laughs> the wake of a new season, a new period, a new year. Compliments of the season to everyone. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year to every one of us. Uh, I would love to extend my handshake to everyone to greet you and to congratulate you for crossing over into the year 2021. Our God, the great referee, had blown the whistle of time off for 2020. And we've hosted the flag of a new year, year 2021. I pray that this year will be filled with joy and happiness in Jesus' name. Welcome to your darling program, Jitayos Word. The first of its kind in the year 2021, Jitayos Word, a word of music. The program is fully sponsored by Jitayos Music Production, North Carolina, USA. So on behalf of the CEO, Jitayos Music Production, USA, in person of Olua Kande, we say happy new year to our fans all over the world. I call on you. I don't call the leg, but I don't call the can. I don't know. I don't answer the door. I'm on top of the money. Your mother, you don't have the money for you. Baba, tell me, your mother don't be the don't the money. Edo, okay. You see, can I buy you? I buy you. Dallas, yeah, Leno. I let you only add one. Don't call your don. See, I need to call can. Wow. Once again, good morning. Good morning. The program is Jitter's World. I am Dele Ogontola Johan Command. So be my guest on the program today. Blessed be the Lord, my rock and my strength, who teaches my hands to work. Ah, we are live on Parrot FM 101.1 Megahertz. Okay, baby, Ogbomosho, your state, Southwest Nigeria, West Africa. We stream online on Parrot1011.com. And if you miss any of our episode, you can check Oluwakade's YouTube for any episode you've missed. <sighs> Once again, good morning. Let us go straight to the first segment of the program. This is my story. This is my story. My name is William Howard Dorn. I am an American born in Preston, Connecticut in 1831. I was educated by German and American schoolmasters at Woodstock Academy, which is famous for educating students to enter the musical professions. When I was 14 years old, I was chosen to direct the school choir. In my senior year, I trusted Jesus as my savior and I joined the Baptist church. After I left school, I went to work for my father's cotton textile manufacturing business. I worked there for three years. Then I got a job with JFA and Company, which manufactured woodworking machines. When the company relocated in Cincinnati, Ohio, I moved with the firm, advancing each year until I was made president of the company. I attended Mount Auburn Baptist Church in Cincinnati. I was elected superintendent of his large Sunday school and served in that position for more than 25 years. I was also active in civic organizations in the city. For relaxation, I wrote tunes for gospel hymns. I was not able to write hymn text, but new tunes ran through my head continuously. I wrote more than 2,200 hymn tunes, which were published with hymn text by different writers in hymn connections, published by the John Church Complain and by other publishers. I myself published more than 40 collections of gospel hymns for use in Sunday school and for evangelistic purposes. My favorite writer was Mrs. Fanny Crosby Van Hastein. My hymn tunes, which are sung most often, are tunes for which she wrote the words. I usually composed a hymn tune, wrote it down, and sent it to her, asking her to provide a text. When I was in New York City on business for my complaint, I sometimes went to her home to hand deliver my tunes to her. One afternoon in 1868, I went to her home and told her that I wanted a new hymn for a statewide Sunday school convention to be held in Ohio in the next month. I was in great hurry, for I had only 40 minutes before I would have to leave for the railway station to board a train for my journey back to Cincinnati. I sat down at her piano and played my tune. When I said goodbye and picked up my hat to leave, she handed me a folded piece of paper 
When I boarded the train and found a seat, I unfolded the paper she had handed to me. I was astonished to see that she had written all the stanzas of him for my tune while I was playing it on her piano. For the first time, I read the words for the now famous gospel hymn, Save in the Hands of Jesus. Fanny later told me that out of the more than 8,000 hymn texts she had written, Save in the Hands of Jesus was her personal favorite. Soon after this, I sent tunes to Fanny for which she wrote some of her famous hymns. Pass me not to a gentle savior. Rescue the perishing and Jesus keep me near the cross. From the money I earned by the publication of my most famous gospel song book, I was able to purchase and donate a pipe organ for the Hall of the Cincinnati Young Men's Christian Association. In 1875, Denison University conferred on me the honorary degree. I later gave large sums of money to Denison, which was a Baptist university in the state of Ohio. Hmm. God blessed me with a long and happy life. I died in 1915 at the age of 83, but I am still safe in the hands of Jesus. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. This is my story. Hmm. To God be the glory. That was the story of William Howard Drawn. Despite his tight schedule and his post as the president of a company, he finds time to work for God. William Howard makes use of his money to expand and propagate the gospel of Christ. Hmm. Be encouraged this morning to be available for God. Learn from William Howard's story. It is well with you. This is my story. Okay, let me inform you that very soon we will be telling you stories of living legends. It will deviate from legends that are long gone. So watch out for that. Now let us enjoy the music of the day from Olu Akade. All right, let's sit back and enjoy the music. We love you, Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, ah, yeah. Feel, oh Lord, like you never felt before. You touch my life and you set me free. That's what I sing. I for time. That's what. Dear listeners, you can enjoy more of Olua Kade's music online. You can download on Boomplay, iTunes, and other digital platforms. Be a friend of Digital Music Production on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel at Olu Akade. We will be glad to welcome you into our fold. Chat with Olua Kade on WhatsApp. Plus one, two, three, one, 
0302 All right, and let us listen to the word for the week and be blessed from the CEO, Guitar Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Good morning, my brother and sister. Welcome to another week of uh, GTA program. My name is Olu Akonde. We're going to be looking into Success Without Limitation Part 2. This is Season 2, Episode 8. Today, I want you to look into yourself. This is another year. This is a new beginning. Look at what increases your self-esteem. How do you want to be remembered? What kind of reputation do you want to create? How do you behave with others? How will you be different from today? Try and create a circumstances that raise your self-esteem each day. Get well along with other people. Create a common ground to impact people around you. Set higher standards for your health, weakness, and strength. Create highest level of integrity, even when no one is looking. Decide to tell and live in truth. Refuse to compromise. Your goal must be purely personal and creative. Ask yourself, what do I really want to do? Think and meditate over and over. What are the three most important factors about you, your family, that concern you or aggravate you? Spend more time with better prospects. Believing become a reality. Do not self-limiting yourself. Every setback is a lesson and road to greatness. Get the learning experience with mental equivalent for joyful moments. Reprogram your subconscious for greatness and success. Get every good lesson from every event. Try and locate yourself on a map and see where you are and where next to go. Can you please analyze yourself and plan the future? Is there any relationship I need to improve now? Especially knowing what I know right now. What good habit? Best quality, bad habit, weakness, I need to sustain, continue or get rid of. Learn to motivate and drive forward. Be more clear and specific in what you do this year and beyond. In compromising, more task with your goal achievement. Great men and women refuse to compromise. They do 100% of the task, pushing through without delaying to the completion. Make yourself happy and peaceful. Reward yourself for tasks completed by continuously staying happy. And I pray that today, this month, this year, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Till I see you next week, stay highly motivated. Bye. Ah, I do well. 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 I do I do well. 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 I Happy New Year to every one of us once again. Thanks to Adiolu, Adelawo, and the other crew in the studio here. Uh, thanks to Gabriel Ojo, Fine Boy No Pimples, and I can see Okoyawo here too. <clears throat> okay, next week is another fresh episode of the program, Jitayo's World. As we await stories of living legends, I strongly believe you will surely be blessed through it. And so on behalf of Jitayo's team, we appreciate you all. Till next week, I am Dele. Oh, Gotola, your uncle man, stay blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah.